Hello everybody, today's topic is why can't you attach jet engines to drones? Stay tuned. If you guys can please hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. I'm trying to get Viron Air to 100 subscribers, so please be awesome and hit that subscribe button. Thank you everybody. I get this question from curious people in the hobby all the time and they ask me why don't we attach mini jet engines to quads? Which is a question they ask because they think that the quad's flight characteristics will improve with a mini jet engine attached to it. But the results will actually be quite intriguing. Well first of all, being able to shrink a jet engine down to size and still keep that level of efficiency with 80-90% to 90 bypass air would be quite hard. That would be one of the biggest challenges with adding a jet engine in place of props in a quadcopter. Another crutch for our jet engine example is the quick reaction time of a rotor versus the very slow reaction time of a jet engine. Um, a rotor gives a very very quick reaction time which is needed for racing quads and for taking pictures um, during, during crazy and high winds um, for drone stability which is, which is things that will create a crutch for the jet engine which has a very slow reaction time which has the acceleration lag of about one, one to two seconds or even sometimes a lot greater than that. My overall response to this question is that I really don't think that a jet engine would be very efficient on a quadcopter. Rotors are just way too efficient. The response time of a rotor versus is very good at low speeds. Um, a jet engine is something that's very good at high speeds, high altitudes. It's and plus also the response time. The response time is what really gets me. Uh, a rotor response time is is needed especially when you're doing like racing quadcopters. Racing quadcopters need a very fast response. Uh, if if the race if you attach start attaching jet engines to racing miniature jet engines to racing quadcopters, uh, you run into a lot of problems. You run into a lot of obstacles and uh, which, which is something that you don't want. You really need that very fast response time so you can get out of the way and be able to do the really cool tricks that you might see uh, some of the guys on YouTube doing. A jet, the jet engine, even, even if you're even able to get it down to that miniature size, uh, one of the biggest problems is just like I was talking about, like that bypass air, uh, or that bypass air ratio, um, the the weight, the big, the big, very big thing with a jet engine is that weight, you know, um, the weight of the fuel versus that um, versus the batteries. The batteries are, are just a lot more efficient compared to uh, compared to adding fuel into four jet engines to propel you. So it's so the idea is is a nice idea, but it's not very feasible um, compared to the technology that we already have right now. But let me know what everybody else think in the comment section down below. Do you think that a jet engine is very feasible? Do you think that a jet engine will replace um, rotors? in the hobby yeah just let me know leave it in the comment section down below probably y'all have an, uh probably heard somebody speaking about this probably heard somebody saying that this is the future of quadcopters i just don't see i don't i just don't see the benefit of it but probably one of you one of you all do so please leave it in the comment section down below and let us know what you think about jet engines uh being attached to quadcopters